as a child, I was an outdoor person all the time. I learned to swim in the Franklin River. We were brought up on 13 acres. It was all wooded, and it had a marsh area, and I was always outdoors, loved the outdoors. My father was an architect in those areas, and the rest of Michigan is a very well-known architect for churches. And so I grew up in the atmosphere. Unfortunately, my mother passed away when I was uh, two years old, and not having a mother, being brought up with a mother, all my attention was totally devoted to my dad. He would take me to jobs and show me what he did, but he never once told me he thought I should be an architect. I didn't know it, but I was being drawn in, of course. So I would have seen these drawn on paper, onion, little onion skin sketches on his desk. Then maybe a year later, I would go and I would be hugging the column of a gigantic entrance of a church. So it was just, it was very, very exciting to see something come from a little sketch on paper to reality. I think he would be pleased with all of the work that I've accomplished in my career. Uh, I think he would be very proud. I grew up in this magnificent French Norman home, which uh, my father designed and built. There weren't very many large windows, so it was kind of a a shadowy house, if you know what I mean. And so I loved the outdoors and I was always at the edge of the windows, getting in front of them so I could appreciate all the nature I was looking out, all the birds. And it was sort of a rebellion that when I was starting to create homes, I'm never gonna have this many walls and so on. And so almost every home I started to design was all about view, view, view. And to bring in nature so that you feel like you're one with nature and there you are, totally comfortable. So a lot of my homes, when you stand in the great room and look out, you think you're on the helm of a ship. It's that kind of a feeling. What drives me the most, I would think, is that each project is new and different and I get to challenge myself again with coming up with a brand new concept, something that's never been done and special for that project to make the clients happy. Working with DeRosier Architects is truly an experience that is one of a kind. When you walk into a Louis DeRosier home, there's another level of quality that you see. And I don't think that quality is even justified to say that is the best in Michigan. I think he's one of the top architects in the country. I mean, the level of detail he goes into to just make the house really have that next level of quality. The one thing is, you'll notice with Lou, it's his passion. It's not work for him. He loves what he does, and you can feel that. Working with Lou is an adventure. It's an adventure every day. He designed this house uh, more, it was like a pavilion. It was basically to be built on a big slab of stone. It was to bring the outside inside. The glass walls go into the masonry and up into the ceiling. He lines up the mortar joints from the inside to the outside. The little details that he comes up with are just extraordinary. And uh, of course, that, that makes the house special. We love it. He is a very, very passionate person about his work. But to add to that is the personality, the human being he is. I put a statue for Lou here. We take his advice every single step of the way, calling him anytime, which is uh, unbelievable. I'm a physician, so it's like he's, a, he's our physician when it comes to our house. It is a holistic approach from the beginning till the end to understand how it's going to look in the future. When I tell people that I'm working with Lou on my home, I mean, they want to see the project, they want to see the renderings, they, they get excited. I feel like this is all he knows in his life, is his work. Like any successful firm, you, you, you have to have a team effort. And you're really only as good as your staff, and how much they care, and their talent. And so I try to pull out of them the best that they can be to help our projects be successful. 
So it's important to note that, uh, you know, nothing in my career would have been accomplished without the support of my beautiful family. My wonderful wife, Joanne, which we call, all fondly called Jojo, and my two sons, Paul and Glenn, and they've always supported me from day one. This is my third home, actually, that I've designed and lived in and built. Every time I create something for, in this case, it was our own home, but for any of my clients, I always want it to be better than the last one. Well, I have to say occasionally nowadays, uh, new clients and potential clients will ask me when I'm going to retire. And the truth of the matter is I have absolutely no interest in retiring. I'm an architect, this is my profession, this is what I believe in, and that's who I am. 